tomorrow we'll see if he's really able to wake up to be here at 6 a.m. So many as we were expecting, especially the white ones. We have a lot of the red ones. Those are the ones we like the most, so it's not that bad. And well, it's one, four or five boxes of red ones, two of whites, and this is the problem with the tractor. Oops. A lot of them come out cut. Keep them apart, so those are the first ones we are gonna eat. Today, the day before we leave, we are going to harvest as much as we can to bring it to Switzerland with us. So, join us! What I was really looking forward to harvesting cherry tomatoes. Last year we did not plant any and I don't know why but they grow very very well here as in you, you can see there's so many and it's just the beginning they will keep giving us fruits for months. It's sad that we are not here to enjoy it because honestly the best part is just being able to come here every day and harvest what you need and and eat them fresh so now we will have to bring all this to Switzerland we have a very small fridge so I don't know who are we gonna keep everything um, but we will try it's very easy to just pick them by hand they break easily and this is also the best way you don't want them to fall off from the branch because this keeps them fresh for a longer time Oh, eh? He loves him. We are harvesting these chilies. They are supposed to be not too spicy, so you can just stir fry them with a bit of olive oil and salt, and they are delicious. But sometimes 
they are very very spicy <laughs> so fingers crossed those are gonna be the good ones to eat many tomatoes and these big cucumbers that I don't know I mean I have this question because they're supposed to be actually what um, no water melons, melons but I think that we should harvest them smaller sweet as cucumbers and maybe if we let them rip and they will be sweet as melons I don't know but I need you to put down the camera and help me please <laughs> You've seen the chaos everything was this morning after arriving very late last night so now we cleaned all this area we put all the vegetables we bought from the garden outside in the terrace and now we are going want to solve the two main conflictive areas one is the table because we just put all the computers and everything and there because there's no storage and the other one is, is the entrance area where we have all the shoes and Marley's um, gadgets and stuff so we want to put a little bit of order in both places. We are just gonna stay in this apartment for three months so we did not want to buy something for a storage solution just for this apartment because maybe in the next one it will not fit so what we did was brought a shelf from Spain and we are gonna assemble it and hopefully it will solve our problems a little bit. We bought this shelf unit maybe nine years ago so we don't have the instructions anymore so we just luck.
continue with the rest but we have the shelf mounted and all the plants in its place. To organize all the chaos in the entrance, we bought this from Spain. This is a shoe organizer from IKEA that I have had for many, many years and that we were not using anymore. And yeah, I think that it would be great to just store maybe, it would not look nice, but it would be functional to store Marley's uh, color and the lid and everything in one place. So this is the idea. If it's too long, we can do this. There's Velcro, so it's just half of it. Marley color, hey! <laughs> no, we don't go outside, man! And it has a Sorry, place so when, oh, so when we arrive, we can just leave all the hats from, the two of the pants. For Marley? <laughs> hey, Marley! Today, taking the advantage of the fact that Brisa is working in the office and that she doesn't want to tell the secret of her pizza, I'm going to take the advantage to tell you the secret of her famous pizza. So, let's go! For the sauce, we will have the normal tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes, that will give it a little more sweetness, so we don't have to add sugar, a little garlic and something we planted yesterday, basil. Take a little bit and let's go! Yeah. 